Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a Sephora shop with me. I'm super excited because it is the best time of the year. It is the Holiday Sephora Rouge VIB sale. So I'm Rouge, so I get 20% off. So this is my favorite time of the year where I go ham and I like to find a lot of good things. I also buy a lot of restocks that I am running out of currently and I'm so low, so I'm so excited to pick up some restocks, look around, see what they have, see what kind of cute holiday sets they have. And I just feel like there's so much new makeup and skincare this season especially this holiday season so i'm just so excited to take you guys along with me shop with me and see what i end up getting i already have done a couple of these videos i think i did a target one and an ulta one and i'll link those down below you guys really seem to like that so i thought why not film a little sephora shop with me and bring you guys along with me on today's little shopping spree so let's head into sephora Sephora favorites. Look how good this one looks. This one has a bunch of good things as well. And then Sephora collection also has 30% off instead of 20% off. So I definitely want to pick up a new brush. So let me know what have you guys tried from one size. I have this primer right here that's really good. But let me know what you guys like from one size. I definitely want to try it. I think this one's really pretty. good if you have like your dad or your boyfriend or your husband this is a really good christmas gift i've also always want to try something from amika so i think i might pick up a shampoo they're all so pretty i think i like this dream routine one i think i might pick this up but i'm not sure which shampoo and conditioner to pick up i also heard their dry shampoo is really good also might try a living proof shampoo let me know which shampoo you guys like from sephora i feel like my hair right now is getting used to the shampoo that i've been using for like two years now so i want to switch it up a little bit so yeah i want to try a new shampoo but let me know what you guys like drugstore or sephora i'd be willing to try it but i definitely want to pick up something new today this first aid beauty set is also so cute their cleanser is my favorite. I use it all the time. And they have so many good ones right here. This Belief one's really good. Mmm, this one smells really good as well. I really like it. Hmm. Not sure which one I'm gonna get, but really, really good. And this is my favorite dry shampoo, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I'm wearing it right now in my hair. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. blushes i have rosy and i kind of want to get dreamy but i honestly have so many blushes i don't need any more
This set right here is so good too. It has all the best seller of Pillow Talk. Love it so much. Um, I already have like half of these things, but it's such a good set to like give someone. I am back with a Sephora haul. So you guys saw all the clips that I took. I had such a fun time looking at all like the little holiday gift sets and it was just so nice to pick up some things that I've really been needing and getting that percentage off. And I'm excited to show you guys what I got. I have a pretty big heavy bag right here. Um, so I have another little bag right here because it was getting really heavy, but I will go through the first big bag with you guys. The first thing I see in here is a brush. This is the Sephora 96 Pro Blush Brush and Sephora Collections brushes are my absolute favorite. I own a couple of them. I love to pick them up during the Sephora sales because they are an extra 30% off instead of 10, 15, 20, whatever your status is at Sephora. So in general, these are 30% off, which is so amazing. So I always have to pick up a brush or two. So this one is the Pro Blush one. And this one, like I said, is in 96. I have it in 93 and I use it for my cream blush blush every single day and I love it so much and even though this one says it's a blush brush I kind of want to try it for bronzer usually for bronzer I like a more tapered type of like precision so I'm just gonna play around with it see what I want to use it for because you honestly can use brushes for whatever reason you want to but these are just such high quality brushes and I love them so much so I decided to pick up a new one I also really like this concealer one from the Sephora collection that is also really good. And all the things that I mentioned in today's video, I'll have them linked down below just in case you guys are interested and wanna shop them. But yeah, I will open this for you guys real quick so you guys can see what it looked like. They're just so fluffy, they're super high quality. So it just comes like this and it has a little thingy right here but I can get it off. I can't get the thing off right now but you guys can kinda get the idea. This is what the product looks like. Super nice, super good quality, like really nice and like heavy but like not in a bad way, just super good quality. So I really recommend them, especially during the sale. Like I said, you get an extra 30% off of these brushes. So I just had to pick up a new one. The next up, I got this Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I have been seeing this all over my TikTok, all over my Instagram. People keep hyping this product up. It's just a spray protector. It helps soothe stressed out skin. It has some really good ingredients in it. It's also vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and oil-free as well. And it just says use AM and PM in place of toner. I've just seen so many people talk about this spray. And I just wanted to see what all the hype was about. I kind of want to try it right now to see what it's like. I will say the spray isn't as, you can see I'm kind of glowing right now. I will say the spray isn't as like fine as I would like it. Maybe it was the first couple sprays. The one from Caudalie that I really like, it's called the Beauty Elixir, I think. That one is a super fine, nice spray, but this one is a little bit more harsh, but I think I need to keep playing with it. But so far it feels really like light and fresh and like really like nice mist. And it also helps reduce the appearance of redness. Yes, that's what I read. And I do get some redness throughout the day sometimes. So hopefully this works. Let me know down below if you guys have ever used this tower 28 facial spray and how you like it i actually wanted to get the mini size just because i wanted to try it out but they didn't have any of the mini size ones so i just got the big size but i'm sure i will love it the packaging is super cute this little like orange red color and yeah so let me know if you guys have used this i would love to know your thoughts on it okay next up i picked up this way hair oil this is a restock purchase Mine is running so, so low. This is what the product looks like. It's from Way, and it's the hair oil, and it's in this really super pretty sleek bottle. It is so good. It makes your hair feel so soft. It smells so good as well. It's like very fresh, a little bit rosy, a little bit florally, and if you put this all over your hair when it's dry, it really helps make it super soft. You can brush it out, or you can use this on damp hair as well, like after you blow dry or towel dried hair. It'll also just make it so much easier to comb out your hair, and it's just overall such a good hair oil i've had mine for such a long time the one that i'm using a little goes a long way with these hair oils you never want to do too much and weigh your hair down and make it all like greasy and just not good for your hair so a little goes a long way but i'm finally like down to like the bare minimum on my current way one so i definitely wanted to pick up a new one just to restock and i highly recommend this one so good and it smells delicious way is one of my favorite hair care brands out there 
So this is just a 10 out of 10 in my book. Next, I picked up a new sunscreen. This is from the brand Innisfree, and it is the Daily UV Defense Sunscreen, and it has an SPF of 36 in it. I've seen so many people talk about this once again because the sunscreen, and I think this brand is on the lower price spectrum. I want to say the sunscreen was maybe $20, $18. I'll have to double check. Like I said, I'll have all these products linked down below. But it was pretty inexpensive compared to some of the sunscreens that I currently own. And it also has 1.69 fluid ounce, which is really nice. I think this brand is from Korea. Yeah, it says made in Korea. And it says it's a water-based sunscreen with sunflower seed oil that effectively protects against uv rays while delivering a refreshing dewy glow so that sounds super nice and i'm just always in the market for a new sunscreen i'm always switching them out trying new things even though like i am a little weary sometimes just in case they break me out so hopefully this one doesn't but i've just heard so many people talk about this because it's an overall really good like clean brand and their prices are pretty affordable in sephora so super super excited to try this out this is a little close-up of what it looks like super nice clean sleek packaging so yeah and it's a squeezy tube i think yeah nice little squeezy tube so again let me know if you guys have tried this specific sunscreen if you guys have tried something from innisfree that you guys really like that i should try out would love to know your thoughts but it also says no white cast so hopefully that is true to what they say i will probably update you guys on my instagram whether i like the sunscreen or not so if you're not following me on instagram you definitely should it'll be somewhere on the screen right here and always link down below for you guys always but yeah super super good price and the 20 percent off it was even cheaper so I'm curious to see how this will work. Okay, next up from Sephora, I picked up something from the brand Amika, and this is called the Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. So I've seen this brand so many times when I walk through Sephora, and I've always wanna try something from them. I actually got a couple of hair care items in this haul that I wasn't expecting. I'm usually not like super, super into hair care, so to have this many hair care items in this haul is pretty interesting but i'm not hating on it i think i told you guys in sephora that i've been wanting a new shampoo and conditioner which i did pick up and i'll show you guys in a sec but i ended up picking a shampoo from a different brand but i did get this from amika first of all the packaging is absolutely stunning it's in this pretty pretty blue bottle as you guys can see i love a pump anytime any product comes in a pump i am all for it it just makes life so much easier so basically this is just a leave-in treatment that deeply hydrates your hair and what sold me on this because i was looking on the app before i went into sephora is that this is not a hair mask that you need to wash off the next day which i think is so convenient it says that you just put it from like your mid ends of your hair to the bottom work it in and then you wake up the next morning and you can go on with your day style it or leave it the same and it should really just melt right in and not make it feel greasy if you don't overdo it which i think is so cool because usually hair masks you have to put it in for a couple hours and then wash it out but this one you don't have to wash it out which i think is so convenient you can use it like a lot you know because i feel like whenever you have a hair mask you always need to like take into consideration when you want to wash it out or like leave a part of your day to put a hair mask in hopefully this does what it says because i definitely need some hydration especially in the winter right now as it's getting colder here in seattle super excited and this bottle also feels super heavy and like luxe so I love that. I think this will be really cute on my bathroom counter. Okay, the last thing from this tiny little bag is, once again, another restock. But this one is so good. This one is from Belief, and it's the Moisturizing Eye Balm. This is the current eye cream that I'm using right now, and I'm almost out of it. So I had to pick up another one from the sale. This is another Korean skincare brand. So... I really like Korean skincare brands. Their things are just like really lightweight and moisturizing. And I feel like they just always do the job well. So this one is a moisture eye balm. So it's like an eye gel based cream. It says it provides intense moisture and boost elasticity. And I really recommend this one to you guys. I will say if you're looking for an eye cream that helps reduce the appearance of dark circles, this may not be it for you because this one doesn't necessarily do that. This one really hydrates your under eye, makes it like really nice and smooth really good under makeup as well but i also believe that a lot of eye creams don't really improve under dark under eye circles just because they are hereditary and sometimes you just can't get rid of that but yeah i really recommend this if you're looking for a really nice hydrating eye cream i love this one so much and it doesn't have any perfume smell in it or anything like that the last thing in the sephora bag is the shampoo that i picked up this is from living proof and it is called the full shampoo and it says it adds fullness and volume so this is the one that i ended up going with and i also didn't get the conditioner i want to see how much i like the shampoo and if i like it then i will buy its twin sister and get the conditioner but as of right now i just want to see if my hair likes it and 
how good it is and if my hair reacts well to it. I just wanted to pick up something new. I think I mentioned this in Sephora to you guys, but the current shampoo that I'm using, I have been using for so long and I definitely think that my hair and my scalp have gotten used to it. So it's not working as effectively anymore. Definitely true what people say. You definitely should switch out your shampoos and conditioners like every couple months, maybe like once a year because your hair really does get used to it. My hair does get greasier a little faster and I just feel like it is not doing the same as it was before, which I'm really sad about because the shampoo that I'm currently using is by Mizani. I get it at Sephora, but it's online only. And I love it so much. And it was working so well for such, such a long time. But I've noticed the past couple months, it's just kind of like not been working the same. So I definitely think it's because I need to switch it out a little bit and maybe use this one a couple times a week and then switch back to the Mizani and go back and forth um, and just reintroduce something new to my scalp, you know? Let me know if you guys have tried Living Proof shampoos or conditioners and which one you guys like. I'm always for any fullness and volume. That's why I picked this one. But any other recommendations you guys have for a good shampoo and conditioner, whether it be Sephora or drugstore, let me know down below. I would love to check it out. I'm definitely in the market to just try some new ones and see what my hair likes. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Sephora. A lot of restocks, but a couple of new things that I'm super excited to try. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Coming along with me to shop at Sephora. Let me know what your favorite thing from this haul was that I got. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post every single week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!